Okay, on today's video, we are going to be discussing this. This is the ETS cam loader for 9 and 40 cal, and why everyone should have this on their range bag. Okay, we're over at the bench. I got a bunch of different magazines here. I want to show a few things about why this is such a great thing to have. Okay, if you're familiar with ETS, ETS makes these Glock magazines. They're extremely popular cheap and you either love them or hate them I've had great luck with them but if you get online you see a lot of guys that talk about these and pretty much call them trash I personally like them they work good so what this does this is it fits locks in but the reason I'm making this video, it works with a lot more than just ETS mags. It works with factory Glock mags, works with Canic mags, works with Walther mags, and I even got it to work with my mags for my P365XL. So there's a lot of benefits to having this. We'll get into that now. The first benefit to these, one is speed faster reloading two if you're a competition shooter so if you're shooting pcc division in the uspsa or steel challenge most of your pccs are running on glock mags this is my main magazine that i use for all the calm stock stages and things like that well this will hold 47 rounds takes quite a while to load 47 rounds into this mag. These are my factory Glock mags with the Taylor Freelance base pads. And these are the 33 round sticks. Now, if you've ever shot a USPSA match, after you shoot your stage, you go back to your, your range bag or your wagon or your little buggy that you got made up to carry your PCC on and you reload your magazines. The quicker you can reload these magazines, and the faster you can get back and help your squad mates pace and reset the stages. Because there's nothing worse than a guy that sits around at a USPSA match and doesn't reset or help pace. So this will speed up the process of getting the mags loaded for your next stage that you go on. Alright, so I'm going to show you a little trick here how I use these. This is obviously reloaded ammunition that I make. This is the reason I put them in upside down is because of this loader and I'm getting ready to show you why. Now, if you don't reload your own ammo, let's we'll slide this over, and let's say you just got a bunch of loose 9mm laying around. These are obviously reloads too, but it'll work with factory ammo. You want to get a couple of these cases. So, if you're on a USPSA match, say that's a 150 round count, these hold 100 rounds per box, so two boxes of this will get you through a local match. So if you are shooting, say, you buy a bulk ammo pack, a Winchester white box, 200 round pack, comes in a box, you can take those out the night before a match and just put these in like this. Doesn't take long. So you get the gist of that. You can fill this box up. These are like $4 to buy at a local gun store. You might even be able to get online on Amazon or whatever, buy them cheaper. I have no idea. It's something I have to look into. But buy two or three of these boxes or however many you want because when you start using this loader, it's going to make things a lot easier for you. We're going to take this factory Glock mag, lock it in until it stops. I take these, kind of hold them over a little bit, I'll tilt them over on an edge, like this. And you just picked up 10 rounds of ammo. Now, you take this, and it does take a little bit getting used to. Once you use it a few times, it goes fast. Take it, it has to go this way. You see there's a hole cut in the bottom of it. And this slides into this track. And there you go. Ten rounds loaded in there. Grab ten more. And 
and 10 more. And let's go ahead and we'll just fill it up with 30. And that's how long it takes to load 30 rounds into one of these factory Glock mags. Essentially, all these mags are pretty much the same. I mean, this mag will fit a Glock 17, Glock 19. I don't have any 40 cal mags to show you how this works because I don't shoot 40 cal. But this is a factory Glock mag for a 19. This has the Strike Industries base plate on it. Better than that, it's a factory Glock mag. And so is this. But you don't have to have a Glock to use this mag loader. So let's move on to another brand. All right, this is a Canic mag. This is for my TP9 SFX. Has a Cane Arms base plate on it. Other than that, factory Canic mag. Same deal. Locks in. Tilt this to the side. There's 10 rounds in the Canic mag. Next up is the Walther mag. Now this is a factory Walther mag out of my PPQM2. This has the Taylor Freelance mag extensions on it. So same deal. Lock it in. Tilt this to the side. Grab you 10. Look like this. There's 10 rounds in your Walther magazine. Now this mag, the Walther PPQ mags are the same in all the PPQs. They work in the PDP as we saw, as you guys saw in one of my last videos I did. So we know it'll work with the PDP mags. I don't know about the P99 or the Creed or any of those. I'm not familiar with those, but I do know that it'll work with any PPQ or PDP Walther. Last up, this is a 12 round mag out of my P365XL. The only difference with this is this has the Armory Craft base pad on it to match my frame. This is the one I was most surprised that it actually worked. I've got 10, because if you've messed with these 365 mags, they are tight and they are hard to load. There's 10 rounds in the 365 XL Max. So I assume I don't own a regular 365, but I assume they'll work with that too. And I know that that is a carry gun that a lot of people have. Now we'll get into a mag that it doesn't work on. This is a Rock Island magazine. This is a double stack 9mm out of my 1911 double stack Rock Island 9mm. And it will not work with these. Do not try to force one of these onto this steel mag because it will not work. One last trick I want to show you. Any kind of lube will work. This is a spring coast machine gunner's lube but just put you a little drop right there and a little drop on that side. And as you can see we'll tilt these to the side. A breeze right over that nine millimeter. And put them right back. Hopefully, you found this video helpful, formative. I uh, I don't know how many of you watching the channel have seen one of those before, or maybe you have seen one of these, and you're on the fence about getting one. But this is definitely worth buying. I looked them up on ETS's website. They were $29.99. I'd say it's a pretty good $30 investment. Especially if you're loading up. Pull these off to the side here. But the night before a USPSA match, I load this up with 43 to 44 rounds and I fill up three of these. So, Let's just say, if I'm putting 30 rounds in three of these, we've got 90 rounds, plus another 
43, 44 rounds going in this. So 134 rounds loading them up the night before a match. If you were loading each one of these by hand or even with a, another kind of loader, it's going to take a lot longer. So this is definitely a must have for the range bag. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.